Hi, I'm Richard Lan, and I allow this video to be shared freely. For my uh, experience with Ushahidi, I was uh, working on the incident display on the map. Originally, uh, you were only able to select a single category at a time, which made comparing information fairly difficult. And uh, I decided to play around with the code and add the additional functionality so you can select and compare and view several categories at a time. I'm just going to run over and demonstrate this. So originally, if I was to uh, click on, say, damages, it would select only damages, and you'd see that. And if I wanted to select something else, it would deselect damages. And then it would select the next one, and you can only view one at a time, it would automatically deselect. Um, my internet connection is really bad right now, so I have a load bar permanently. Anyway, so uh, throughout my project, I added the ability to select it with a fairly minimalistic uh, UI change. So when, what ends up happening is, is uh, say I select debris, I can also select warnings, and it will display uh, all of their points at the same time at once, just to specify this more clearly, I'll switch to uh, non-clustering mode. I'm going to reload the page here, see if we can get rid of that bar. Alright, so if I go to re-entry re uh, process to locality, uh, you can see there's two points on the map here already. Yep. Yeah. I'll zoom in a bit. And then if I was to select just warnings, you'd see uh, a couple points here. So you've got two, however many are behind the, the bar, and one at the bottom. And selecting both, you'll get uh, the addition of all of them. So now there's three at the top, along with the additional one at the bottom. Uh, currently, if you select a category that has uh, subcomponents, if you want to view the subcomponents, you have to select them and deselect the parent category. Uh, I'd like to eventually uh, work on easing the uh, ability for use for the user and allowing it to do this automatically. So if you select subcategories, it'll automatically deselect the uh, higher level one. And vice versa, if you reselect the top one, it'll deselect all subcategories. Uh, my current state of development, if you select the all categories, button, it will uh, reset all selections and you can start selecting a new. And that's pretty much my project. <laughs> what um, was the most fun part about working on Ushihi? Uh When I finally made some progress, I actually had a uh, quite the learning curve on this. Before this project, I've never worked in a PHP, JavaScript, jQuery, or anything to do with databases, so uh, it was quite the experience for me. Um, also, uh, just another point to point out, uh, in uh, my current installation, it will only display all the nodes in a single color, so even if you're viewing multiple categories, it all shows up as the most recently selected color. To get uh, the full functionality out of this for comparing the uh, incidents and how they correlate together, uh, I would have to build in the ability to show multiple colors. So if I had two or three selected categories, they'd all show up in their respective colors. And what was the most frustrating part of working on the Ushihi project? Um, for one, uh, just trying to trace the code, having no experience. Um, JavaScript was kind of interesting because I didn't know the way it handled variables between uh, multiple files. It seems you can handle almost all of its variables as if they were global, which I went crazy trying to figure out how they were passed between files, as well as just tracing and figuring out uh, what was going on with the code. Does, uh, the uh, markers and incidents are dealt with through the JSON timeline main JavaScript and the helpers reports. And uh, it took me forever to find the helpers reports because I didn't think to look there in an MVC architecture. Cool. Uh, thanks very much.